The Story of Satan Did you know the first battle ever fought occurred in heaven and continues on earth today? The Bible tells us that the war began with an angel named Lucifer, who was described as a covering cherub, Ezekiel 28 14-16. A covering cherub, according to Exodus 25 14-20 is an angel that stood in the very presence of God, covering the Ark of the Testimony, in which lay the law of God. Above the Ark was God's mercy seat. These earthly replicas were designed to teach heavenly realities, see Hebrews 8 1-5. This image shows us the foundation of God's throne, the mercy seat, in heaven was his law, Ark of the Covenant. And Lucifer was once an angel that stood closest to the throne of God. Covering, meaning to guard or protect, the law of God. This was his position in heaven. All was at peace until iniquity was found in Lucifer, Ezekiel 28:15. According to 1 John 3 4, iniquity, or sin, is defined as, whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Lucifer the angel that was to guard the law of God. The foundation of God's government turned against that very law, which resulted in the introduction of sin into the heavenly atmosphere. Lucifer, like a master politician, argued that heavenly angels had no need for a law because they were already holy. Lucifer said I will be like the Most High, Isaiah 14 14 backslash, without obeying his laws. In other words, Lucifer, now Satan, had introduced the principle of self-righteousness. Adam and Eve were sold the same lie, you can be like gods, without obeying God. They fell for it. As a result, humanity became rebels of the kingdom of heaven. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be, Romans 8 6-8. This is the dividing line between those who will be loyal subjects of the throne of heaven, and those who refuse to acknowledge and strive to live by God's law. Hence John wrote, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him, 1 John 2-4. Even the prophet Daniel recognized this division of forces when he wrote, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong, and do exploits, Daniel 11.32. Yes, as Lucifer flattered the angels in heaven with the thought they were naturally good, so he seeks to flatter people today.